like every single campaign we do, we have to go bigger and better, put 110%. Peru was probably the hardest thing we've ever done. This needs to be that times 100. My name is Jose Zaniga. I'm the creative director for Essentials. I love how clothing makes you feel, how it makes you look, how it changes you. And I feel like I can design clothing that can really impact how somebody feels, how confident they are, how good they feel about themselves. We have a prop to leave here, raw hemline. So this is the hemline. Let's keep it. So same thing. Same thing. Forward, right side, side. Right. My name is Dallas and I am a professional photographer. I've been working with Essential since 2019 and it's been an awesome opportunity. Uh, we, we travel a lot, we get to meet new people, I get experiences I wouldn't typically get outside of it, out of working with them. <laughs> Just let your hand naturally fall. <laughs> he needed the camera. He needed, he needed, he needed, he needed the spotlight. Uh, yeah. I guess a regular size one. So I guess it probably would fit. Like, uh, mm -hmm. My name is David Maracoy, um, and I'm the photographer here at the studio. I think this is the first campaign I'm doing outside of the United States, and I think it's uh, pretty reassuring that Dallas is coming along. Uh, get to learn from him. I know Jose and Juan very, they speak very highly of him. So there has to be a reason why. Um, and I, I want to know. I want to know, uh, you know, learn from him, see what he can teach me. Dude, seriously. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> now you're just trying too hard. My name's Nick. I work on the video production team here at Estuniga. On this campaign, I'm gonna be helping out with the video shoots as well as some of the photos. After that campaign in Peru, I think we can pretty much handle anything. I mean, I carried two heavy cases of equipment up 17,000 feet and I still managed to get the shots without passing out. All right, so most of these shots are gonna be just with the R5. Should hold up just fine. Gotta get that in the range. All right, so we should bring the 24 to 70. Honestly, the 50 mil, got to. Got to 1.2. Yeah, that's crazy. And then we have the 35, 1.8 that we can take. And then we're definitely gonna need to bring gimbal. Yeah, everything needs to be smooth. My name is Gavin. I am head of video production here at Estuniga. I've been with the company since they were located in Florida. Since working with this company, I've been on multiple campaigns in Miami, New Mexico, California. The FPV. The goggles, the batteries, the battery goggles. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Very cool. Trying to vlog out here like you guys. Check out, check out this new mic. Beauty. Just bought it for this trip. Oh, and I bought this just now. So if your battery dies. We got a lot of dust on that lens. What if we're <laughs> prisoners to? modern society what if we were prisoners in america and we came over here and this is freedom but we don't think that way because we're given everything in america and now we don't have anything and now we're stressed exactly i don't, I don't really have any yeah, I wanna see, are you I gonna wanna... fly at the fpv yeah there's no path to get up there so we can't get up there Gavin, OG. I've become the professional drone pilot for this uh, this journey or trip. So you're gonna crash it? Nah, but I'm gonna let you record some shots of me flying it so that you can see my reaction in case I do crash. Ask the viewers if they can see the uh, hidden houses with uh, grass on top of their house. It's next to the horses or cows. That's the cows. Listen to this thing. 
You ever seen Tron? Yeah. Tell me about it. Getting some cool shots. I'm not gonna get too crazy, too risky. I wanna, um, I want the drone to survive until we actually shoot the the campaign itself, and then I'll start getting crazy with it. You know. I think so. That means you don't have Wi-Fi. Oh, no, okay. I knew that. <laughs> That's when, that's when you, in the video documentary, you know, I'm, I look over the camera, it zooms in. <laughs> You're like, ah. Bah! He does a stupid noise like that, like all the other vloggers do. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. <laughs> right now I have it. Normal drone mode can get about 35 minutes. See, there's goats or sheep up there. Oh yeah, there's some right over there. But that was kind of cool. I just snuck up on them, bro. I, I'm, yeah, this was fun. You see that? That couple of, of uh, house. Uh huh. Uh, uh, oh, I see. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the the house is called Scully. It's also very very old and very very Icelandic one. So, so the grass grows on the top of it. Yes, yes. Oh, that's it's cool. very, very heavy, but it keeps inside warm somehow. This is this is a really nice view. This is pretty much our not not like I'm complaining, but we don't have a car, so this is our option to eat. Here, we, yeah, because we can't walk anywhere else. No, it's like 35 minute walk. What was it? Uh, the waterfall. Oh uh, no. Oh, I didn't. He told us about it, but we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Turn on the corner. You can't drive there. Uh huh. But I was thinking about flying up, going over the hill. Yeah. Very Americanized voice. Yeah, I think he is. He's definitely American. I don't know, but he's pretty confident where he's parking. He might be living in the back one. Definitely. Finally getting to the point where he's getting the equipment that makes him satisfied with his work. seeing pictures and it's what I thought it would look like but it's even better because I'm actually here so I get to experience it in real life you taking a picture no I'm taking a video oh you want to take a picture maybe we are out here again getting this amazing drone footage of Mr. Gavin Look at how beautiful this fog is making these mountains. Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> My guy's doing flips. He's doing flips.
<laughs> than the earlier. Earlier, bro. Because <laughs> I, I'm not shaking as much, but the uh, I was definitely getting some cooler shots. I was like looking at different routes and spots to actually dive instead of just flying to fly. Dude, I mean, look at that. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue Don't rely on others To get you through the maze 20 thumbs up parts You go to the park, so you go to the central so park You go upstate for hiking We have really beaches, nice. we have yeah. beaches yeah. We have They have rebranded We have it, it's it's we have all that time yeah. Yeah. Who's in charge of my jacket? Me I gotta make sure that my strobe is here. Yeah, 100%? 100%. And the reflector. He said 100%. 110,000. If we get there and we're missing something, I blame the video team. I don't have any. Four photographers, no one but a freaking lens. <laughs> I think I might somewhere. You damn well know you don't go home. Dude, I always sit in Lightroom no, anyways and click off all that shit. <laughs> this is already the better car, hands down. Don't put that in the video. So the first location we tried was at the Skaga Foss waterfalls, but by the time we got there, it was just absolutely packed with tourists. Well, this is the only one that was nearby. It's not five, but... So we decided to save the spot for later, hop back in our cars and drive 35 minutes to our second location, which was the Black Sand Beach. We out here. You're supposed to not be goofy, it's not a vlog. Oh, my bad. Don't joke me serious. Leave it all behind. Let it all go. Not worth it anymore. You can't convince them or change their minds. It's hard to be kind. Alright, we're on set. No sleep. We, we shower. We change. I'm exhausted. Every time we drive, I'm falling asleep, bro. Two Land Cruisers full of equipment. Like I'm always team all over the road. Just tired. And, and if you can see, so this is Black Sand Beach. We're dealing with a bunch of tourists too. Yeah, no Black Sand Beach. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to work around them. Our team's a beast. If I make this look good. Yeah. There you go. If, if, he, he, make this if he makes this look good, <laughs> if they make it look good, they're a beast. Because be honestly, this, this is gonna be tough. So we get to the beach and the first thing we see is just cars and people parked everywhere. But this is the second location of three for this entire trip. So we had to just go ahead and roll on with things and start production.
somehow, with like 200 people around us, we managed to get some really good shots. We adapted and managed to get everything we needed. So we went ahead, got packed, and began our three hour drive to our final location for that day. Uh, so, dope. Look at the field. This one in between the glaciers. I want it down that hole. You see that hole? <laughs> Tall one yeah. there. Let's go stand before they, they take that spot. Things were going smoothly, got some really great shots with the drone, and then all of a sudden, signal lost. And when you're going like 50 miles an hour right over the water and the signal goes out just for a second, that's it. Game over. So that, that sucked. Alrighty, and go. Cool. Cool. Take the, take the tripod. Look at me. Are you asking the boss some footage? Wait, I have. <laughs> oh, you f***ing idiot. Oh, my God. Now it's on your sensor and everything. No, I didn't get on the sensor. Did you get that on camera? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to delete that clip, all right? Uh -huh. Don't even put it. Here, Am I turning ugly? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Dad. Hit, hit her with the taste of her mean? own medicine. Okay, or I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm watching an A24 production film with his poses. Sorry. Long, long stills. Nothing. Oh, with yeah. the lights and stuff. Yeah, with the lights. Yeah. Someone we'll bought. Someone bought it. Like one show on. for like. Oh, Dan, you got in the shot. Do it again, do it again, do it again. That, that wasn't the best one. You had to find a flatter rock. Oh, that was good. That was good. It's actually really crazy looking back at this footage from this three-day trip. Sure, there were complications along the way, but we overcame them. I look at this footage and think, wow. I can't believe I was in Iceland even if it was just for three days. With some great co-workers that I'm grateful to call my friends. For a company I love working at. It's all wheel drive, baby. I know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, if I get on it, and when I look back at this footage, I think... That shit looks crazy, bro. 